Good damn morning, Americans. Jericho Green here with you once again. The silliness continues. It's a bottomless pit of bullshit. The beat goes on and on and on. See, one of the problems with this woke bullshit, with this cancel culture, is that it's retroactive. And eventually, it will get all of you. The shit is ridiculous. You probably heard about it. They want to get rid of, or they might have already done it. The council voted for it. I don't know if it's official yet. But they want to change the name of the John Wayne Airport. That's right, Pilgrim. They want to take the Duke's name off of the fucking airport. Also, I guess he attended USC, was a student athlete. They're taking his statue, or uh, he has a statue or something in this hall, in this some area, and they're taking it out of there. Because I allegedly in some 19, 1971 interview, he said that he believes in white supremacy. His son has come out saying, no, he didn't. And I have a family member that used to work at this place around here called the Carmel Tennis Ranch. And it was a place where all the hoity-toity, uh, mew, 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 all those kind of people used to come over here and play. It was a, a tennis slash resort slash amazing place to eat. It's where the rich used to play. And my family member used to babysit John Wayne's kid, his daughter. She used to come in and hang out in the kitchen. So if you're a racist and you believe in white supremacy, why would you leave your precious little angel around these evil darkies? That shit doesn't make sense. And so fucking what if he said that in 1971? Is he up there? Is an airport named after him for his social political beliefs? No, it's named after him because he was a great fucking actor. Because he was one of the greatest cowboys in movies ever. Yeah, I said one of. The greatest is Clint Eastwood. Prove me wrong in the comment section. Clint Eastwood was the best damn cowboy, movie cowboy, there ever was. Period. Have you seen Pale Rider? If you haven't, shut your mouth. That movie is perfection. <laughs> anyway, I have one question about removing John Wayne's name from an airport in Orange County. I have one question about tearing down statues and monuments and taking black people off of food products. One question. What the fuck is that going to do? What did I do? Did I stop one bullet from flying? Did it stop one kid in the ghetto from going hungry? Did it put an AC unit in those shitty Baltimore schools for the summer? Did it put a heater in those shitty Baltimore schools for the winter? So those kids don't have to worry about how cold or hot they are, but they can focus on the lesson plan? Fuck no, it didn't. Did it put one more black father in the home? Fuck no, it didn't. Did it stop one young black kid from getting murdered because you scuffed my J's? Fuck no, it didn't. So why are you doing it? You're talking about you want to affect all this change and we're, we're going to change things and we're in a revolution. We ain't in no fucking revolution. Stop that bullshit. This is not a revolution. This is a tantrum. This is a fit that somebody's throwing. This ain't no fucking revolution. Revolutions are for people who are going through bad times, who are dealing with tyranny, who are dealing with a tyrant, a dictator. We don't have any of those problems, so this is not a fucking revolution.
I know it makes you feel good and it feel good and it gets you more clicks and more likes and more views and more oh you're so brave you're so this you're so that that's all it is this is a, a like revolution this is a click revolution not a real one now I, I've, I've said for a long time and I will continue to say forever that California will not be out stupid it is but that does not mean it will not be challenged the NBA you know the NBA should be called the WNBA instead of the WNBA they should be called the WNBA because they are the woke National Basketball Association the numb nut bitch association now these fools are going to have little slogans and sayings on the back of their jersey. Again, what the fuck is that going to do? So they were given an approved list of slogans to have on the back of their jersey. And of course, king of the woke in the NBA, LeBron James says he's not going to have anything on his jersey. I don't need to put anything on my jersey to show my cause or to do what I need to do. Shut the fuck up, little girl. The only reason you're not doing that is probably because your boss, China, told you not to. Your daddy, your master, oh, I said it. <laughs> I said master, uh-oh, outlawed word. Your puppeteer, China, probably told you you couldn't. So here are some of the approved slogans they can have on the back of their fucking jerseys. I can't breathe. Respect us. Stand with us. Black lives matter. Certain black lives matter. There's here, here's the only, there's a whole bunch of them. There's like 15 of them. But here's the only two that I agree with. One of them is freedom. And another one is vote. Those are the only two things you should be allowed to put on the back of your fucking jersey is vote and freedom. How about we have freedom? Because I'd love to see some of these other countries' basketball players put shit on the back of their jerseys. That hasn't, proved, hasn't been approved by their dictator, by their gold-plated AK-47 holding dictator. What do you think would happen to them? What do you think would happen to the Iranian soccer team if all of a sudden they wanted to put some slogans on the back of their jersey? You see this shit? You fools are so focused on tearing down the work that other people have done, the sacrifice that they have made. You're so focused on destroying it that you're not going to enjoy it. You're so focused on fucking shit up. You're so focused on being wokeity woke wokes that you're not enjoying the fruits of other people's labor. That made it so your stupid ass can sit up here and say this without getting a sniper's bullet in your forehead. Martin Luther King, Medgar Evers, Malcolm X, and many others went through the real shit so you can sit up here like a jackass and talk about some fake bullshit that you don't even deal with. See, this is virtue signaling mixed with a little bit of survivor's guilt. Remember, all these motherfuckers are rich. All these rich black men talking about how racist our country is. Say that shit out loud. A bunch of rich black men telling us how racist our country is. That shit sounds even stupider when you say it out loud. The survivor's guilt. They feel bad that they made it out. So they gotta keep a toe in that fucking water. They gotta stay connected. They gotta keep their credibility. I still care for you guys. I have a platform. Bunch of fucking over emotional bitches. You know what you should put on the back of your jersey? I'm a dumbass. I wish I had a father. I'm thankful I made it out of the hood. More dads. Nuclear family. Put that shit on your jersey. You know why? Because that's going to do something. That's a positive message. 
that's a real message. Vote, <clears throat> vote for a, a respect us. Stand with us. Why the fuck do you need somebody to respect you and stand with you? I need my wife and my kids to respect me. That's it. Anybody else can be done away with. I don't need society to respect me. I don't need this group of people to respect me and uplift me and hold me and cherish me and care for me and spoon me. That's the problem. They want to be socially spooned. They're the social little spoon. You sound like a needy fucking girlfriend. Where are you going? Do you love me? Am I fat? Do you care? Why don't you talk to me? Do you love me? You sound like a bunch of whiny, weird fucking ex-girlfriends that want to get back together. And no wonder the overwhelming majority of these clowns were raised by single mothers. That's why they get up there every time they receive an award, every time they go in the Hall of Fame. <laughs> My mama, oh mama. I want to see some of you crying for your daddy. Where's my dad? That's what should be on the back of your fucking jersey. Not, I can't breathe. Oh, stupid ass shit. Fix our schools. No more sugar. Put that on your fucking jersey. Because that's real. That will actually affect change. Not this fake, stupid ass narrative of police brutality. This fake, stupid ass narrative that somehow black lives don't matter because you seem to need to tell everybody that they do. And if you need to tell people that they do, that means that they don't. How the fuck is anybody else going to care about a black life when black lives don't care about black lives? Lives. How the fuck is that? So the fact that you got to stand up there and tell everybody that shit means that that shit is not true. Ain't nobody else standing up there. White lives matter. Yellow lives matter. Red lives matter. Nobody else is saying that bullshit because they already know. They know. They don't care if anybody else does. Respect us. I don't need your fucking respect. And if I want it, I'll earn it. You don't tell somebody to respect you. You show them that they need to respect you. And if they don't, fuck them. How about that? How about take on the attitude of some of these fucking immigrants that come over here with jack shit and make millions? They don't give a fuck what anybody thinks. They don't care if white people love them and respect them and want to hug them. They don't give a shit. They're here on a mission. My mission is to be successful. You know why? Because they know America gives you the opportunity. That's all they need is the opportunity. And that's all America owes us is opportunity. Not the same outcome. Equality of opportunity, not equality of outcome. I don't want someone else's level of outcome. I want my own. That's the fucking problem. You care about people respecting you and wanting you. Fuck you. Don't care if everybody wants and respects me. You stay the fuck out of my face. We won't have a problem. I don't care. I don't fucking care what anybody thinks of me. Outside of my immediate family, I don't, I don't give a fuck. But it's always, oh, respect me, uplift me. I need positive reinforcement. That's the problem. When you're submerged, soaked, and marinated in estrogen, this is what you get. A bunch of six foot eight muscular pussies. A bunch of male pussies. Well, I'm gonna put something cool on my back. Then you got some of these white players talking about, I'm going to put Black Lives Matter on the back of my jersey. 
Shut your white liberal guilt ridden ass the fuck up. Your part, you are the problem. The only thing bigger, the only thing more of a problem than these black fools buying into this shit are these fucking guilt ridden white liberals. The worst thing to happen to America. And I'm including polio and all that shit. The worst is liberalism. Slogan. Can you believe that shit? Slogans on the back of your jersey. Well, hopefully enough people won't be watching that shit for it to matter. I can't breathe. I'm telling you, vote and freedom. Those are the only two I support. Because everybody should vote. Well, not everybody. But everybody has the right to vote. And we all have freedom. We all have freedom. That's why we can get out here and say whatever we want. And you won't end up handcuffed to a metal chair frame, getting waterboarded and electrocuted. Because we don't play that shit here. We're a nation of laws. Or we used to be. And we still are a nation of laws. If you're not reading from the script, if you want to have a parade to celebrate something, or you want to get together with your church, or you want to have a funeral, no, that's not for you. But if you want to get out here and tear shit up and block traffic and act like a big-ass child, the world is your oyster. Fuck garbage. Man, let me hop in this damn rat race and wrap up my damn work week. But you know how it goes. I try to be done with the left, but they just won't let me. Please subscribe, hit that notification bell, because every time it rings, a piece of shit liberal cries. Get your Jericho Green notification tone link in the description box. Utilize the PayPal link and the Teespring link to get your green gear. I am Jericho Green. Man, I'm out.